Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsidaPage.com and today we are going to do an unboxing and quick overview of the MSI B450M Mortar Motherboard. Let's get to it! Welcome back guys! So just a quick disclaimer, I'm not going to go in-depth about this motherboard. I made this video just to share with you my experience and to give you guys an idea about the important specifications of this motherboard just in case you also want to get this. So with that being said, let's start with the unboxing, shall we? Okay, so inside the box, of course, we have the motherboard itself protected by the anti-static plastic here. We have um, two SATA connections. One is a little bit angled, as you can see here. And then inside the box, we also have the I.O. shield. As you can see here, it's... Um, it has a the MSI logo as well as a black color on the I.O. Um, shield. We also have here some paperwork. And it looks like we have a compact disc here for the drivers. But I'm going to suggest to download the drivers on the actual website so that you're going to get the latest um, version. Uh, by the way, we also have here the sticker for the MSI logo just in case you want to put it on your casing. We also have here the quick installation guide. This will be helpful just in case this is your first time building your computer. And I think I'm going to benefit with this as well. And we also have here the user manual. It's quite a handful but it's going to be useful so that you'll be able to know everything with regards to this motherboard. Here's the email. And last but not the least, we have here the two mounting screws for the M.2 storage on the motherboard. By the way guys, the reason why I got this is because of three reasons. Um, first is budget. It fits perfectly within my budget of around 28000 And second is for the aesthetics. It has matte black finish with some gray accents and it will fit perfectly on my theme. And actually I think it will fit for any uh, color scheme that you would like to be using on your system. The third reason why I got this motherboard is because of its features and performance specifically with its VRM coolings. It has 4 plus 2 phase and it has great reviews available online already. I'll put a link down on the description for the video made by Buildzoid with regards to this motherboard. They actually tear it down and examine the heatsink and the, discuss about the VRM coolings and why it is one of the best B450M micro ATX boards out there. So let's check the motherboard, shall we? So guys, here's the MSI B450M Mortar motherboard. As you can see, the aesthetics on this is very nice. It looks awesome. Um, it has matte black finish all over the motherboard with gray accents for the heat sinks, as you can see here. And the PCIe slot is actually reinforced with metal, which is nice. And overall, I like the design and I'm really glad I picked up this motherboard. So right now, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the specifications and ports, headers, and other features of this motherboard just in case you also want to get this. So the MSI B450M motherboard supports 1st and 2nd gen Ryzen processors including the Raven Ridge APU with Vega graphics. It supports DDR4 memory up to 2667 MHz by JEDEC and up to 3466 MHz by AXMP overclock mode. It features Tor MI technology and BIOS flashback so you basically will be able to upgrade the BIOS on this motherboard quite easily. It also has easy debug LED for troubleshooting which is nice. And it supports Mystic Lite compatibility across different devices and a handful of ports. Speaking of ports, besides the BIOS flashback, we have two USB 2.0 ports, PS2 combo port, HDMI and display port just in case you want to use an APU, four USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A ports, Realtek 8111H Gigabit Ethernet, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A and Type C. And lastly, we have the audio ports that uses Realtek ALC892. In terms of storage, we have two M.2 slots, one of which is a PCIe 3.0x4, so you'll be able to use NVMe drives with this. Aside from that, it has four SATA 3 ports. In terms of memory, as I've mentioned, it supports DDR4 memory up to 64GB and supports dual-channel memory architecture. In terms of PCIe lanes, it has four. One 3.0x16, one 2.0 times 16 and two 2.0 times 1. In terms of graphics, it supports two-way crossfire. There's no information if it supports SLI as well, unfortunately. It supports onboard graphics for the APU like the R5 2400G 
or the R3 2200G. In terms of connectors, we have for power a 24 pin 12 volts and 8 pin 12 volts. In terms of storage, we have 4 SATA 3 connectors, 2 USB 2.0 headers, 1 USB 3.1 header, 1 4 pin CPU fan header, 3 4 pin system fan header, and 2 12 volts RGB headers. The dimensions of this motherboard is 9.6 inches by 9.6 inches micro ATX form factor. And that's about it guys for the important specifications of this motherboard. I'm so excited to build around this. I'm going to pair this with the Ryzen 5 2600X and I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of overclocking with the stack cooler on this. So if you're interested to watch my build log with this motherboard, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified when the video comes out. So thank you for watching guys. Make sure to check the full article link on the description below. Subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.